Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And I've been thinking about it, you know, the new compound here is looking a little empty. We need to start getting some more toys in here. Uh, one of the things I am going to do is definitely going to make a new tank, and I've been thinking about reworking that one, making it a little more better, and uh, where it is, we could be seeing large air blades and large hover pads this Thursday, which would be great, because... Uh, I've been thinking about trying to make a missile launcher with them. But, uh, oh, before we get to today's project, let's go ahead and deal with this. And I'm going to suggest about making the movement while in hover mode a little bit better. And because we don't actually have to worry about build vision being on, we can go ahead and just... Come on. There you go. There you go. Episode 101. But what I wanted to do is I've been trying to think of an idea to do for a helicopter. And, uh, you know, doing a standard helicopter would be kind of difficult to do in this game because we're limited to the amount of control, so you wouldn't be able to control the tail rotor. Uh, a couple of episodes ago, I was messing around with this thing here, and this is was an idea of what I was going to do for the ro just to get the rotors moving, but they were bunching up, they were moving faster than the hinges and the rotors could... could uh, react to. So I'm going to end up redoing... using the air blades similar but I'm going to try to use them to create the lift so instead of using the chain I'm just going to have I'll put slopes even though they don't do anything but I'll put slopes across use air blades that will be fixed like they won't have uh, won't have stabilization on so they'll be fixed to wherever I place them so not only will they be facing downwards and you'll see this when I build it so I'll have a line of them going across the technically the blade facing down that will create an upward force and then I'll have some at the end which will just create the rotation just for the, the sake of it and then to be able to actually control it uh, since this game relies so much on physics I'm going to try to hang a counterweight which is actually going to be the generators running this thing inside and pushing around with hover pads and let me go over here quickly I'm going to do a quick cut because it, uh, I guess we won't take too long to get there but uh, basically what I need to do is, I, I, you can see it coming up here. I got this counterweight set up. I need to find a, more or less find the center of it so I can hang the weight directly off the center point. And what's going to happen, you can see it's sort of still moving around. I don't know why. Uh, that's one of the things that worry me. I've been trying to find a way to stabilize it. I've been having grid issues too. For some reason, I can't control it from here. I've even tried placing it right on here. It will not control it, but it will control it from this one. So we get out in here, and you can see it's sort of going a little bit. Those ones at the end are trying to stabilize it, but I can push it forward, and it'll make it front heavy so then it go nose down. And since the blades are st not stabilized, they'll stay in line with the blades, and they should cre create the force in the direction as long as I'm holding space. And then back to go back, and then left to go left, right to go right. That sort of deal. The controls are going to be a little wonky, but, you know, we're trying to do something that's not technically f intended in this game. So anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is so you know exactly what I'm attempting to build, and this one actually might work a little better. I've been trying to see about using blocks to transition the wall sections like the other walls, and it is possible. So I'm going to try to make it look like this. And it's not going to be perfect. Again, colors would be nice. I noticed on that Trello they were actually talking about having different textures depending on the material used. But that was a long time ago. But anyways, here we are. Good place to start. That thing is still there. I'm surprised. I've noticed too, every time I log in here, the hover height gets reset. Because uh, Medusa was up about 20 feet, and she she was down about 15, and about 10, and now she's on the ground, and this thing's on the ground too. But anyways, let us begin.
And there it is. It looks more like a sheep wearing a couple of a couple of beanies than anything. But uh, let me just explain what's going on here. As you can see, we got powered air blades. I have stabi stabilization turned off on all of them, so it doesn't matter which way the this thing is, whether it's upside down or on its side or nose up or whatever. These are always going to be parallel with this. Same with uh, the end. Uh, the end ones here are just to try to get some sort of rotation and then these are actually creating some sort of lift which is uh, better than my original design. Uh, same thing down here too, all these are only set for lift. Uh, stabilization is turned off. And this is what is going to be controlling the weight, or hopefully controlling my flight. Just a matter of moving the weight back and forth, left and right, and it should work and creating a front heavy so it starts leaning forward so when I'm using the hover up it actually creates forward momentum. So now the big question is, is this going to break the game? Oh, there's a planet there, what do you know? Really? That was a cactus and didn't even hurt. And that thing tried to kill me a few times too when I was putting that counterweight in. So now, uh oh, you know what's coming? Well, I'll be damned. Let me see if I can get that post out. I uh, just did just put the loading ramp in here just to cut a couple of air, extra air blades in because this is technically the heavier end. And I did want to sort of get some sort of balance, but at the same time, too, I didn't want to bother going into the hassle of trying to get the thing up off the ground and pinpoint exactly where the center point was. So I just, I just roughed it. Anyways. Uh can't really see inside the cockpit. You can sort of see the, the green layer of the generator there bobbing back and forth. So if I hold space, all right, now let's see if I can actually control my flight. See, I'm trying to push that weight back right now. Can't really see it. can sort of see it's just it's too much and I think it's stuck. <laughs> yes it is. Oh. Uh, I should have put more windows on it. 
sort of twisting or something. I have no idea where we are. We're somewhere. Oh, I missed a few blocks. Oh, there's my problem right there. Oh, there's two blocks. Oh. It's a good thing we don't have crash damage. Oh, I lost a wheel. Oops. How many wheels did I lose? I lost two wheels, or I just forgot to put them on. Well, that was an interesting flight. How far did we go? Oh, only half a K. I can still see the monument from here. Oh, we're just over here. All right. Well, that was a interesting challenge. Uh, again, this counterweight's a bit of a problem. I was ri ah, that's why. I got caught in the corner there. I should have built it a little bit wider, and that probably would have stopped that from happening. Uh, again, having the the bumpers up here to at least try to stabilize it would help. But sometimes it does like an oscillation, so we might start getting up bobbing back and forth in the flight. But got off the ground, and I'm actually shocked about that. And it was somewhat controllable until the, the counterway got stuck so I might have to replant it we'll replace the walls with, all with windows so we can actually see what's going on and maybe yeah maybe we'll revamp this one but anyways that's going to be it for this episode uh, episode uh, thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and I'll see you next time in the lab later